My name is Treasure Monroe. I go to Desert Pines High School and I'm in fifth grade. In school, my hobbies are mostly um, student council work, like painting and decorating for events. And then outside of school, I'm always playing football and basketball with my cousins. My name is Amile Armenta and I am a site coordinator at Desert Pines High School. So Treasure was actually already part of communities in schools her freshman year. From the moment that I met Treasure, she was super energetic and very welcoming to me. She made the transition from my previous career to this one just go very smoothly and um, made me feel welcomed on campus. So it was quite easy to start working with her. I started setting a goal with her. I noticed that she had a lot of issues with like her anger. She would get mad quickly and let her emotions kind of take control. And so that was one of the goals that we had set to focus on ways to help her keep calm and collected during times and as well as setting academic goals. When I first met Miss Amula, I would like, I was the type of person who just says the first thing that just came from the top of my head. I was just speak my mind. I didn't really care about how, like, I didn't really think about how other people felt. And like, sometimes she'd be like, okay, well maybe that person didn't like that you said that, you know? So what I did was, I just started thinking about, you know, the things that I say, like if it would like hurt people and stuff like that. And like, yeah, so like, I'm, I'm kind of better with talking to people now. So because of Treasure's outgoing personality, she can easily make friends on campus and feels comfortable going up to people and just striking a conversation. So some of the ways that she has helped other students is by letting them know, hey, have you been to Portable 5? If you haven't, you need to go. And she'll bring in kids to our office so that we get to know them and they start building relationships with us. And I know she's been with communities and schools for a couple years now. And because she has that first-hand knowledge of the, the power of being in a program, and getting um, help from her site coordinators. She wants other students to be able to get the same help. During the pandemic, it was one of the most toughest years for her. She didn't have stable housing. She, her mental health was just not the best. Um, there was a point in time where she didn't even have internet to do her, her classwork. She was actually doing a lot of her homework through her phone and obviously that wasn't a way to, to get schoolwork done. There was like a special memory because not only did she, um, did she bring me the hot spot, we had food that day, we, went, we had Wingstop. And we were sitting on the bench by my house and we were talking. She was just letting me like vent to her and stuff like that. And there was this bee and she's scared of bees. So I was trying to like shoo the bee away. And so like I did that for a good 10 minutes. Like it was not going anywhere. And that was like, a special memory because that was like a very funny day. So one of the ways Treasure is a superhero to others is just her being welcoming to students and making students feel at home, especially when it when students are at a portable. She might not know a student, but like strike a conversation. Hey, how are you? This is my name. Like, I am proud of myself because I didn't give up. I didn't. There's so many days, you know this, that I just was like, I'm not doing this anymore, I give up. But I always told myself, I have a future, I want a better life for myself, so I have to get up and do it. I gotta go make it happen. I gotta, you know, like, do my schoolwork, make sure I'm on track, make sure I get this done and that done. So I'm very proud of myself for keeping myself on track and always trying to time manage and, yeah. I am going to go to Canisius College next year and I'm going to study marine biology and zoology. And when I become a marine biologist, I want my own animal conservation place. What really makes Treasure special is her kind heart and resilience. She's honestly the highlight of my day. So like coming to work and, oh, I'm going to see Treasure and she's going to come in, tell me the story. I don't miss, this happened during the weekend. So we get to gossip a little about like what she did on the, the weekend or something that happened. And so she's definitely one of those kids that has um, a special place in my heart. To miss Amulet. If it wasn't for you, I don't know where I'd be. I don't know if I'd like probably still be passing my classes but you play a big part of my life, in my everyday life, and then I, I, I just appreciate you. You, um, you do so much for me, and I just, just, I just appreciate you a lot. Reflecting on one of the most difficult school years for her, and looking at her now, 
about to graduate, like involved in ROTC, involved in sports, um, getting homecoming queen, and she's so close to graduating, she ends up getting a, a scholarship for the university, her dream university, and I want her to know that she can accomplish any of her dreams um, as long as she stays focused and dedicated and, and does not give up when barriers are presented.